Spring lock suits. Quite innovative, I must say. You can either have it worn by an animatronic or a living person. You won't have to buy any separate suits for the people, so you'll end up saving money. Now, if only there was a drawback to this. In case of a spring lock failure, would you, or anybody for that matter, be able to survive? That's what I seek to answer in this video. Let's take a look at the basics. The whole reason a human is able to wear a spring lock suit is the spring lock mechanisms that are wound up using a hand crank. This holds the animatronic parts back to allow room for a person to climb inside and effectively wear the suit. The spring lock suit has two forms, the animatronic mode, where the endoskeleton is in normal position, and the spring inside the spring locks are decompressed, causing them to be loose. While the other form is the wearable suit mode, where the endoskeleton parts are held up against the sides of the suit, and the spring within the spring locks are now compressed, making them tightened. Supposedly meant to hold the metal rods back from killing you. When the spring in the spring lock is compressed, it moves a rod backwards until locking into place, taking the animatronic parts that are attached along with it. This secures them against the inner sides of the suit and makes it effectively wearable. Effectively. If you're wearing a spring lock suit, the last thing you want to occur is the springs going from compressed to decompressed with no prompt. Whenever this happens, it is called a spring lock failure. Spring lock failures can happen for a multitude of reasons. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks cut loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. Now what truly happens in a spring lock failure? Instead of the hand crank being safely unwound and making all the spring locks slowly decompress, the spring locks either rapidly decompress in an uncontrolled fashion or the spring locks actually end up completely breaking. This sudden change in state in the spring lock sends the metal rods and animatronic parts racing back into position, with enough force to puncture flesh, organs, and even bone. Now, there are spring locks all over the inside of one of these suits, and one would think that if only one of them were to trip, then you would be completely fine. Unfortunately, that is almost never the case. The sheer pain you feel during the first spring lock being decompressed will cause you to flinch or make a sudden movement. And during that movement, if you bump into something, Say goodnight. This is what can cause a violent chain reaction. Any sort of sudden movement in the suit can cause the other spring locks to come loose. Especially if during that sudden movement, you end up smacking into something. Some people might bring up how in the comic books, Dave shows how the spring locks work. Whenever he sets off only one of them, all of the other ones don't activate. However, these suits have metal clamps on the inside and a fastener on the back. And apparently these suits use the clamps and rods to fuse the endoskeleton to the suit. In costume mode, the clamps are pulled back and you're able to fully climb inside. Also, none of the other spring locks going off can be chalked up to him just kind of holding it there, not really shaking it around. The only reason the suit that Carlton was wearing actually spring locked was because it smacked against the ground. Ultimately, the force of that makes the spring locks go loose. Though, it does seem like the suits from the books and the suits from the games are vastly different. They do share some similarities, like for example, if you touch the spring locks, they can come undone. And chances are, whether you're wearing either or suit, if you slam it against the ground or any sort of solid surface, the spring locks will have a very high chance of coming loose. It's also mentioned that it's very hard to set off the spring locks unintentionally, so if you're like walking around or something, unless the suit has not gone through proper maintenance. Now with all of this in mind, you would think the chances of surviving such an event would be unachievable, but the main killer of the FNAF franchise has survived one of these before. No, 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 I'm not talking about Springtrap, I'm talking about this. Dave Miller, also known as William Afton, actually survived a spring lock failure. Since there is no official or clear answer to this, there have been a lot of speculations as to what led to his survival. I pointed out earlier how the suits in the books are vastly different from the ones in the game. And since the ones in the books have a fastener on the back, this increases his chance of survival. Also, his spring locking could have happened in public, where he would have gotten immediate aid from those around him. Others point out how he has scars on his arms and torso, and a little 
bit on the back of his neck, but none on his face. So he most likely wasn't wearing the mask of the suit. But none of this is certain since his survival of this spring locking is vaguely mentioned once in the book, and never again. Also, it's kind of a debate if the book's story is even canon to the game's story because... N nothing's fucking easy. Well, if Dave Miller, or William Afton, was able to survive this, and you must be asking yourself, what does it feel like to be springlocked? Now, according to William Afton, at least from the book series, he says, and I quote, If you trigger those spring locks, two things will happen. First, the locks themselves will snap right into you, making deep cuts all over your body. And a split second later, all the animatronic parts, all of the sharp steel and hard plastic will instantly be driven into your body. You will die, but it will be slow. You'll feel your organs punctured, the suit will grow wet with your blood, and you will know you're dying for long, long minutes. You'll try to scream, but you'll be unable to. Your vocal cords will be severed, and your lungs will fill with your own blood until you drown in it. Assuming none of the rods cut into your heart or vital organs, that means you don't die from blood loss or trauma, you die from drowning in your own blood. Holy shit! With all of this build-up and information out of the way, I believe it is finally time to answer the question. Could you survive a spring lock failure? And the answer is... Well, it depends. There are several different circumstances that can impact the situation and your survivability rate. Like, how old is the suit? Has it gone through proper maintenance? Are the metal rods rusting away? Are you in public? What's your body type? Have you ever had any experience with these suits? Many questions that yield several different outcomes. Let's picture a scenario similar to William Afton in FNAF 3. You're a skinny guy inside the suit, in a locked room, alone, the building is leaking with water, the suit is old, and the spring locks are wet along with you breathing on them. And then suddenly... <laughs> Yeah, you're- you're dead. No one is around to help, and since it's just an old suit, it's probably super sensitive to any kind of movement. Once the spring locks start going off, your best bet is to just hope that one stabs you in the heart. Also, I know Afton is experienced with these suits. He should have seen the water leaking from the goddamn ceiling and hitting the suit. But you've got to realize that he was probably horrified seeing all these ghost children. He definitely was not thinking clearly when he put on that suit. But let's put up an alternate more... I guess, positively lit scenario. You're in public, the suit is not old and has had proper maintenance. You're experienced with these suits and the building that you're in isn't leaking water. Chances are, if a couple of spring locks come loose, then you'll have people around you to help you out of the suit. And emergency services will be notified. I can't guarantee you'll live through it, but you'll have a significantly higher chance. The most crucial factor that determines whether someone can survive a spring lock failure is their experience. If they can remember all of their training on how to operate the suit, then they can recognize the warning signs of a potential failure and take steps to mitigate the risk. So could you survive a spring lock failure? Minor cases of it? Sure. But if you're in the full suit including the mask and all of the spring locks start to come loose, I'm not saying you can't survive it, but I highly doubt it. So this one entirely depends on the scenario. So for what it's worth, you better hope it was just one or two spring locks in like the lower legs or somewhere in your arm and not in the face or the chest. Thank you all for watching this video. If you think I missed anything crucial that could possibly change the outcome of this answer, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Anyways, it's been me, Wazerbite, and I will see all you in the next video.